What's up, everybody? Hey, this is Annie from Annie and Spence, and I'm here to participate in a camp cookout challenge with the other YouTubers. Uh, it's so funny that I'm going to be a part of this because <laughs> I am not a cook at all. I'm a baker. I love to bake. But we're going to try this cooking thing for this video, trying to play in the reindeer games with everybody else. <laughs> So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to make something that I'm used to making um, and that I love. And it's French toast, potatoes, and meat candy. Some people call it meat candy. But it's bacon wrapped smokies with a little brown sugar on top. So let's get this done. Let's get this done. Whew. Okay, bye. Okay. So we cut the potatoes yesterday. And it's kind of hard to do with one hand. <laughs> So we're gonna drain these and pat them dry, season them, put a little oil on them and get them in the air fryer. <gasps> no one's got away. Your potatoes. Like a cap full of oil. Little Tony, I don't know how you pronounce it, saturated, I don't know. Creole seasoning, that's what it is. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to start the French toast. I'll get my skillet here. 
Okay, so to, we're using Pepper's Farm Swirl Cinnamon Bread with the red on the package. They have um, another one with the yellow marking that's called uh, French Toast. It's actually called French Toast, but I tried that and I like the cinnamon, cinnamon one better. So this makes it so much easier <laughs> because the bread is already flavored and all you really have to do is dip it in the egg and milk mixture and then that's it. So let's do that right now. So you only need one egg to cover three pieces of bread. Because this bread is already flavored, I don't need any extra cinnamon or anything. I do just dip it. So for me, I do not like soggy French toast at all. <laughs> so for me, when I make French toast, I think the key to it for me is just to keep it from getting too wet. So I just put it down just enough to touch it, turn it over, and that's it. I don't drown the bread like some people do. <laughs> and, uh, hey, don't drown the bread. I also have soggy French toast. We don't like that. Oh, okay, so when I was uh, thinking about what to do for this video, the first thing I thought of was French toast because it's just so easy and so quick. And I thought, oh, that'll be an easy video. But then I thought, when I'm thinking about just a plate of French toast, I'm like, that's kind of like, mm, need a little bit something more to go with it. So I can hear my grandmother's voice in my head. <laughs> Not really, I'm just joking. But um, <laughs> if I had presented her a plate of uh, French toast, the first thing she would have said to me was, where's the meat? Because my grandmother loved meat. She had meat at every meal. You were not about to serve her something without meat. <clears throat> so, um, I thought to myself, oh, I have to make some kind of meat to go with this French toast. <laughs> My grandmother will come and get me. All right, there we go. That's done. So, um, yeah, she, <laughs> you would tell her, <clears throat> no, I didn't make any meat. I just made this. You know, you can be a vegetarian and just take my grandmother plate of food. And she would say, where's the meat? And then she would like it. You know, she would even eat it and say it was good. And then... <laughs> she was slipping a little bit later. Oh, that meal was good, but it sure would have been better if I had some meat. <laughs> she would let you know. <laughs> I don't appreciate you coming in here with no meat. And so, um, I always thought that was funny. Like every meal. Like, where's the meat? It kind of reminded me of that commercial, that Wendy's, that old Wendy's commercial way back in the day. With, um, the old lady saying, where's the beef? I was like, that was my grandmother right there. <laughs> Where is the meat? Okay, <clears throat> almost forgot to heat up my syrup. Okay, 15 seconds in the microwave. Ooh, that might have been too much. It's a little bit bubbly. Yeah, should do 10 seconds, I guess. All right, let's go plate this up. Okay, so that's it. That's our meal here today. We have the French toast with a little bit of powdered sugar. And we got my warmed up uh, syrup. Got my orange juice. Got my potatoes. And my meat candy. And some water. So we're ready. 
Uh, thanks for checking out our camp cookout challenge videos and make sure you go over and check Gone with the Windleys, CC's World TV, and Love by Camping's videos from today. And also check down in the description box for the people that did their, um, for the YouTubers that did their videos yesterday. Dip it in that warm syrup. Mm-hmm. Let me some French toast. Mm-hmm. All right. The me candy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's got that mixture of sweet from the brown sugar. Uh-oh. About to lose it. And uh, salty from the bacon and the um, smoking. Such a great combination. That's so, so good. You have to make these. Like I said, they don't look appetizing. <laughs> but they are so good, you won't even care. Mm. Okay. I better go. I will see you all later.